Never would I have thought that a day would come when a Roblox survival horror game would come to compete with AAA titles. Is this supposed to be a kid's game? Not anymore, slap a mature rating on it now. Chain is a short survival horror game in Roblox and although it's still in developmental phase, it's actually a pretty decent horror game. The atmosphere is creepy, the gameplay mechanics are simple, and the sound and ambience really sends shivers down your spine. The game looks heavily inspired with the likes of Outlast, Slenderman and the Evil Within with the way it borrows some of its elements and even though there is no voice acting in the game, you can still catch on the story somewhere quickly. The game starts off with you holding up inside a cabin with two of your friends looking out for you while you are unconscious and the simple way that the intro plays out really shows its narrative when the characters do not need any sound or dialogue to tell what they are feeling but their body language does the job for them. It tells that something is not right, which is true because moments later, a man with a mask breaks through the door and brutally kills our friends but lets us live because we are already unconscious. You then wake up to find your friends' dead bodies and quickly take up a flashlight and head outside only to find yourself in a giant forest with a killer about. Traveling further beyond, you come across a military base camp with dead soldiers everywhere and here is where the story of aspect comes in. The man who killed our friends was a military experiment gone wrong who got loose and started to murder everyone in its path eventually killing the entire base. He then made his way to the outside world where he encountered us and our friends and we can assume that the killer managed to knock us unconscious which led to our friends picking us up and hiding in the cabin. We can also tell that our character is definitely a civilian with the way that he has no combat experience because he does not pick up any weapons to defend himself even though he is inside of a military base with guns everywhere. Our character then further explores the base and finds the power gone. So to look for a way to turn on the power, he comes across an injured soldier who looks way too happy to be injured. He tells us that we need to turn on the four generators using a wrench and use the radio to call for help and we comply. Midway through our quest, the killer, now equipped with a chainsaw, manages to kill the injured soldier in the most brutal way possible. <laughs> So now it's just us against the killer. After we manage to fix the final generator, we make our way back to the dead soldier's body to pick up the radio only to get attacked by the masked killer and get decapitated. A short horror experience, but a welcome one.